Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro and the Mi 90 Pro code named Rafael or Rafael in. Now the first thing that I'd like to state over here, almost all the ROMs that I show on this particular channel for the Rafael are also applicable to the Rafael in. So don't worry, if you have one of the two devices, you can go ahead and flash them. Now, in today's video, we're going to talk about the latest update of Pixel Experience for the Redmi K20 Pro. And before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other. So join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so Pixel Experience end of August update over here. We have the regular edition and the plus edition updated yesterday, 23rd of August, 2021. Now it does say always make an Android backup be safe. This ROM has G apps included, uses OSS vendor and immensity kernel, no dim layer, use Android 10 firmware for your device, region any version from 12.0.1 to 12.0.6. That's the MIUI version. Any bug reports with Android 11 firmware will be ignored. So take care of that. As far as the change log is concerned over here, there's not much over here. Use Android 10 firmware, August security patch, translations updated, minor bug fixes. That's all that is there. But that's not always all when it comes to Pixel experience. Recently, we shot a video for the Mi 11X with Pixel Experience official as well. And the K20 Pro has had the official version of Pixel Experience for a while. So right off the bat, when you start, you have this amazing smoothness even on a 60 Hertz display. If you swipe anywhere from the bottom to top, from the top to bottom, from the left to right for your Google feed, it is just there. The only thing that is, I don't know, not exactly a gripe, but I keep wondering is why is the Pixel Experience team for this device changing the kernel every month? Now, I have seen them come with their own Pixel Experience kernel. I've seen them come with, uh, I don't know, maybe the Arrow kernel or some other kernel. And now they have the Immensity kernel. But anyways, it doesn't really matter a lot to us because as long as we are getting good performance with no stutters and a cohesive experience, we are good to go with it. So let's talk about the app animations. For me, that is one of the most important things. I don't know why, but look at this UI with this particular wallpaper. It's all moving together. This is what a user interface should be like. The smoothness is what I'm talking about. And I really, really like that. And especially if you have a K20 Pro, which already has a 60 Hertz display and you are coming from something like MIUI, well, you will definitely, definitely love this. Now the camera duties are handled by a very, very basic Google camera application. And well, that does the job just fine. I've not had any issues with the front or the back camera. It works just as expected. From here at the bottom, you have your Google Assistant shortcuts. At the bottom, you do have the Google search bar. And from the left to right, you have the Google feed. Everything is familiar like it was always. From the top to bottom, you have your quick tiles in which you do have screen recorder, which does allow you to record internal and external audio. And if you start the recording, you will see a timer and then it will work just fine. As you can see over here, I am trying to give it some stutters by scrolling quickly here and there, and I don't see any problems as such. So that is something pretty neat. Let's go ahead and stop the screen recording over there. All right. Now, apart from this, if you talk about the launcher over here, it's your basic pixel experience launcher with some customization and works like a charm. You do have your widgets Android 11 style over here working like a boss and you have styles and wallpapers in which you have a ton of wallpapers with Google's own latest curated updated wallpapers, which works just fine. You have style wherein you can, you have some predefined themes over here, which you can definitely go ahead and apply and you will see that the application takes place almost immediately. So that is something pretty, pretty neat. Not a big fan of square icons, but Let's go ahead and uh, maybe quickly change over here. Squircle, yeah, this is more like my style. I like these type of icons or status bar tiles. So you do have always on display because the Redmi K20 Pro comes with 
AMOLED, right? You can have your always on display goodness. Let's go to settings over here. Let's go to about phone and let's hit the Android version. Android version, of course, is Android version 11 with your cat game working absolutely fine. 5th August security patch, kernel version is the immensity and this is the build number. Of course, this is the official version. Now, if you would ask me as a user, as a person who wants to use this device as a daily driver, Pixel Experience Plus has been just the right mixture for me. There might be a few things that I would expect would have made it to this particular version, but you know, even if they are not there, I'm completely fine with it because I have used this for half a day. I have games installed, I've tried gaming on it, I've charged the device and I have discharged the device as well. Now a little off topic over here, some of you have been telling me that why do you make so many first impressions? Why don't you make a complete review? The answer to that is going to come soon and I'm pretty sure you will like it. But for now, we have three to four devices, we have ROMs coming every single day, we have to make install guides and then I have to give a glimpse of what the new ROM looks like and feels like. Well, that's the reason you see so many first impressions. But I've not seen any app crashes or any random reboots on the device overheating. It's, it's just working like clockwork, just as expected. Now, if you talk about the battery life over here, you do have pretty decent battery life. You do see that I, you know, almost gamed for 48 minutes. That's an hour and we still have 70% battery. Apart from this, you have optimization profile. So you can set the thermal profile to say games over here and uh, you should go ahead and get that benefit as well. Now, apart from this, Pixel Experience doesn't come with a lot of customization, but if you go to system, you have status bar customization, you do have pop-up camera settings, and you have your gestures as well, in which you have the swipe to screenshot option as well. So everything, as I said, is working as expected. If you want to use this as a daily driver, you can definitely go ahead and do that, but hey, what about the performance you ask? So let's go ahead and dive into the benchmark numbers. So first things first, let's look at the CPU throttle test. So the CPU throttle to 92% of its max performance, average score 177,126 GIPS, a pretty, pretty good score for this device. Moving on, we have our trusty old friend Geekbench over here. Now remember these were run with the benchmark or performance profile, 699 single core, 2,562 multi-core. So again, a pretty strong score there. Let's go ahead and talk about N22 benchmark over here. 510,473 is the score. So even in the benchmark front, the phone has not disappointed me. The ROM has not disappointed me. I've been using it for almost a day now and the experience has been pretty, pretty good. Let me know in the comment section if you would like to use this as your daily driver or not, or if you have any questions or if you want me to make an install guide, I can definitely go ahead and do that. For now, that is it from the first impressions of the latest update of Pixel Experience Plus for the K20 Pro. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.